Hello guys, this is Mtech here, and today we take a look at a quadcopter called the Beast, also known as the SG906. The SG906 is a foldable brushless GPS quadcopter, which is produced by ZL. In order to open up the quadcopter, the front legs must be folded out first before the back. After the arms are fully extended, the quadcopter is pretty substantial. There are two versions of the SG906, the standard which has a 1080p camera, and a 4K model, which is this one. The camera uses a tiny servo for controlling the movement of the camera and for one axis stabilization, which is pretty good for keeping the camera pointed at the same direction. On the bottom of the quadcopter, there are two antennas for video transmission and a tiny camera which is used as an optical flow sensor, which tracks the ground when not in GPS mode. And further down, we have a larger antenna which is used for the remote control. Now moving on to the arms, each arm has a LED indicator, which is visible from the sides and bottom. The back arms have red LEDs, and the front arms have green LEDs. Further down, we can see the 1806 brushless motors, and the pretty hard foldable props which makes storage much more easier. Now moving on to the back of the quadcopter, there's a battery with its interface. In order to remove the battery, simply just pull down on the lever and pull it out using the tab on the bottom. The battery that the SG900 uses is a 7.4 volt, 2800 milliamp 2 cell battery. The nice part about this battery is that it uses a micro USB for charging. The single button on the back of the battery is used for a charge indicator and also as a power on and off switch. When placing the battery back into the quadcopter, it's important to hold down the lever so that the latch mechanism doesn't get caught on the body. Now let's take a look at the remote control. The layout of the remote control is pretty standard with its two joysticks and buttons on the sides. The left joystick is used for going up and down and turning and the right joystick is used for going forward backwards and side to side. The joysticks can be popped off by pulling and are made of aluminum which has a pretty good grip, however it may be too pokey for some. The power button is in the middle and turns on with a single press. There's LED indicators at the top and a nice display screen on the bottom. The display shows stainless strength, the amount of satellites are connected, the height distance, which mode the quadcopter is currently in, and battery levels for the remote and the quadcopter. For the buttons, we have speed, slash gyro calibration, GPS return to home, record video, and capture picture, slash geo calibration. Moving on to the side of the remote control, there's a phone holder which pops out and holds onto the phone using springs. Behind the phone holders are shoulder buttons, the left side is for camera tilt, and the right side is for headless mode and landing. On the back of the remote control is a battery compartment which houses four AA batteries. The app that the SG906 uses is an app called HFun Plus. When connected to the quadcopter's Wi-Fi, a live preview of what the quadcopter sees is shown in the background. On the side, there's a slider which allows you to adjust the camera angle, which is a very nice feature which some apps don't have. On the left sidebar, there are icons for taking photo, movie editor which allows you to add music, capture video, a toggle for virtual joysticks, speed control, takeoff landing, and controls lock. On the right side is tracking modes, orbit mode, and GPS return to home. In order to start the motors of the quadcopter, push both joysticks outwards. Now we're ready to fly. Here's the stability of the quadcopter in GPS mode. Here's the stability of the quadcopter in optical flow mode. Here's how the footage from the optical flow camera looks. Now let's take a look at the resolutions that the app can record in. This is the lower resolution SD mode.
This is the high resolution HD mode. Now let's take a look at what comes in the standard set. First off, we have a carrying case with a foam insert, the SG-906 quadcopter, a remote control, four extra props, a bag of extra screws for the props, a screwdriver and a micro USB charging cable, and finally, a small plastic cube which is used for battery storage. Mm -hmm. 